Hello viewers, welcome to Nagaland TV. This is Gargi Dekha and you are watching me on NLTV Midday News. I'll read the headlines to you now. Nagaland Board of School Education directs both government and private schools to conduct various activities from September to November. Activities to take place in three phases. Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Study shows alarming trend of high tobacco consumption among students found in Nagaland. Survey reveals 42.6% children found consuming tobacco. Shooter Avani Lekhara scripts history as she becomes the first Indian woman to win a gold at the Paralympics. Wins gold in women's 10-meter air rifle standing SHI event. Nagaland Governor R.N. Ravi extends warm Janmashtami greetings to the people of Nagaland, urges everyone to observe COVID-19 protocols during the celebration. Assam Rifle Troops foil robbery attempt at Toshiho village, Dimapur, further act as good Samartians by preventing the thief from getting lynched by the public. And now the news in details. Nagaland Board of School Education has directed all the schools, both government and private, to conduct various activities from September to November. Under Activity A, all the schools are directed to organize essay writing, poem writing and drawing competitions on the theme People who gave us the 75th year of India's independence for students from class 8 to 12 from September 1 to September 25th and are asked to submit one best entry on September 27th and 28th. Furthermore, under Activity B, schools are asked to conduct reading comprehension challenges for students from class 10 to 12 from October 1st to 25th and under Activity C, schools are asked to conduct essay poem, writing and drawing competition on the vision about India by 2047. For class 12, from November 1st to November 25th, schools are asked to submit one best entry on November 26th and 27th. Nagaland Governor R.N. Ravi extends his warm Janmashtami greetings to the people of Nagaland on Monday. He said, May Lord Krishna's righteous conduct and action inspire each and every one to strengthen the moral foundations of the society. He further urged everyone to observe COVID-19 protocols during the celebrations. An alarming trend of high tobacco consumption among students has been found in Nagaland as per a survey conducted by International Institute for Population Sciences under the Ministry of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. According to the study, 42.6% children in 13 to 15 years category have been found to be consuming tobacco as against the national average of just a mere 8.5%. Conducted as a part of national survey by IPS in 36 states and union territories, the Global Youth Tobacco Survey for 2019 found tobacco consumption among students at 57.9% in Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram, while Nagaland registered the second highest at 42.6%. In, in Nagaland, GYTS4 had an overall response rate of 43 83.4, wherein a total of 1,919 students from 23 schools participated. And out of the 100, 1,919 students, 1,438 aged between 13 to 15 years were considered for reporting. MLA and advisor for Department of Power Nagaland, H. Tovihoto IME, heaped praises on the students and educational institutions of Dimapur district for securing majority of the top positions in the state. During the recently declared HSLC and HSSLC NBC 
Results 2021. Speaking during a first station program for the Bengali Students Achievers organized by Dimapur Bengali Students Union at St. Mary's Montessori Higher Secondary School, Dimapur, on August 29th. Special guest Ovihoto expressed delight to learn about the academic excellence from the students of Dimapur. He also credited the achievement to the teachers, educational institutions and parents. It may be worth mentioning here that out of the total 124 toppers in the state in both the HSLC and HSSLC results, Dimapur alone bagged 73 positions, including 43 in HSLC and 30 in HSSLC. Yes, this program in 2017, right after the formation, Union Laga formation in 2016, and the program in 2017. Memorial <laughs> To award to Telaga Babalaga Namdi, he is a prominent citizen to Telaga Babalaga Namdi Kurdia Lagas. One of the first citizens among the yes, Bengalis exactly, in Dimapur. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. A very prominent and old settlers of Dimapur. Okay, okay. So, Abnehan, Aha time do you bring a program to Lule Bhavnas Naikin? Yes, definitely. Dimapur Bengali Students Union Kali, Itu Ekla Noigna, every corner day, every specs, the education sector will be, sports sector will be, key sector will be, Amigan, Iniga, innovative. Projects for the welfare of students करने और समाज करने तो आमी always और every time लोग ना ही बोले। आमी होने ऐसा तो आपने हम तो form हो तो 2016 है ऐसे। वही 2016 आमी कल formation है। बोलो भी मन आपने अन आपने अन काम साइज़ ऐसा तो especially during the time of pandemic बीच आगे जाने से आपने बीच help करने से और इच्छा ये तो program दे बुहाम दे आप खबर पाई चाहे DNA सुहान की भी 50,000 donate करो शायद आपने तो आपने हाँ तो निगा काम खान तो किन्हीं का मन भाल वो करो पढ़ने जाते ये तो अमीर हैं क्यों जाना ही देंगे इट्स ऑल बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ़ द अल्माइटी इशॉर लगा आशीर्वाद ऐसे और वो अमर कान लगा स्टूडेंट्स यूनियन लगा मेंबर्स कान लगा क्रेडिट ऐसे अजी अमीर कान की ऐसे अमीर कान सीनियर्स कान लगा ब्लेसिंग ऐसे और अमीर कान मेंबर्स कान लगा आशीर्वाद तंग लगा ब्लेसिंग करने और अमीर कान डायनेमिक प्रेसिडेंट श्री राजा देवनाथ और अमीर कान डायनेमिक प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ बिंगोली समाज श्री के के पॉल लगा ब्लेसिंग बोला है आजी का नामी कान आजी लगा देते हैं नामी का निमान भाल बोला क Whole in Nagaland students can aha sal de kung kung exam di bola si thong ye kya ekta Nag students students can karna ekta hi advice ase pandemic ahi she suddenly online education mode hoye I also mentioned in my speech idu the bishe ekta demerit hoye na ahi she so we what have to do is idu demerit ki ami kan merit te convert purva lagi vo aur message to ami kan laga moto hi message ase unity brotherhood and solidarity ami kan Nagaland de sob milai ki na unity brotherhood and solidarity मानी की नहीं जाए जब वो लगे। अच्छा सर रजत बिशी थैंक्स अपने अपने टाइम उलाइन मोहनों को ताकू इधर करने। तो आरो अपने अंदर दिखलो निश्चित सर बामम भाल बाकू दिशे दुआ ने आरो अलग इंगा खबर 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 हन साइट है को करने अपने साइट है कि नागलिन जीवी मारा मचुमी विच कैमरा पर्सन खलील फॉर नाग Moving on to the next story, Chumukadima Town's women's organization, Chumukadima Town Youth Organization and Chumukadima Town Students Union reiterated its stand on one government, one tax under its jurisdiction as resolved by the Nagas on October 31st, 2013. Reportedly, the unions observed that many groups had been demanding various taxes from villages and from business establishments under its jurisdiction and that had been causing hardships to business community and general public of Chumukadima town. Furthermore, CTWO, CTYO and CTSU urged Naga political groups to do away with multiple taxation and work together as one for one common cause.
The Fake Town Chakasang Student Union has conducted a felicitation program for HSLC and HSSLC successful candidates at Fake Town Council Hall. Speaking on the occasion as the resource person, Zui Lohe, SDO Civil Fake, encouraged the students to be hardworking, determination and put God first in every field. The program was chaired by Tuzongoto Lohe, Deputy Speaker, PTC, SU, while Nukozo Sujo, General Secretary, PTCSU, delivered welcome address. Nagaland Sustainable Development Goals Vision 2030 in its Goal 10 on reduced inequalities aims at reducing inequality within the and among the countries. According to reports, the vision is to focus on the marginalized section of the society, providing equal opportunities in all spheres of life and establish a socially secure and just environment for all. Furthermore, 2030 targets include empowering and promoting the social, economic and political inclusion of all, irrespective of their age, sex, disability, race, ethnicity, origin, religion or economic or other statuses. Well establishing community owned old age home daycare centers in every district to cater to the needs of the elderly population and establishing a district disability rehabilitation center in all districts. Nagaland State Rural Livelihood Mission held its orientation come induction of newly recruited area coordinators for farms and non-farm livelihood and training of trainers on financial management of model cluster level federation in Kohima from August 24th to 28th. W. Rachel Nugli stated that the Joint Secretary of Rural Development and NSRLM Mission Director Imti Menla welcomed the new recruits to the family on NSRLM. She further highlighted the commendable work and achievement of NSRLM in its ninth year of implementation and encouraged the participants to strive for positive contribution towards the upliftment of the rural poor of Nagaland. Furthermore, NSRLM Additional Mission Director T. Setsa Tong Sangtam emphasized the need of empowering women and promoting gender equality to improve the lives of the poor household, both economically and socially. He also shared how the lives of the poor masses in rural areas were positively impacted through NSRLM, women, SHGs and VLOs. Darogajan village has named a road after late PK-1000 for which an unveiling program of PK-1000 road was held on August 28th at Darogajan village. A press release by Darogajan village council stated that the unveiling was done by Joint Director Department of Agriculture SK Kempry after a dedicatory prayer by Reverend Jihoto J. Yepto. A brief history of PK-1000 was also highlighted by Darogajan village council chairman PM-1000. St. John College Dimapur organized programs on gendering, security and bamboo and its ecosystem functions, Women Equality Day 2021, an Indian political thinker, Kautilya, on different occasions. In a press release, SJC stated that a talk on gendering, security, understanding gender-differentiated images in foreign policy was conducted by Jube Borua Mondal of Political Science Department of Webinar on Another webinar on bamboo and its ecosystem functions was organized by Department of Botany in collaboration with Horticulture Club with District Environment Coordinator Goal Para Assam, Dr. Mukta Chandra Das as the research person. On the occasion of Women's Equality Day 2021, Political Science Department and Anti-Ragging and Sexual Harassment Committee conducted program on women empowerment, participation in politics and their security. A talk on Indian political thinker Kautilya was organized by Political Science Department on August 27th with Assistant Professor Sujit Kumar Sonowal from Department Women's College, Tinsukya, Assam, as resource person. A 
Assam Rifles Gaspani Battalion conducted skill development and demonstration on rain harvesting program under the theme Skill Development at Zuikur Bawe Village, Dimapur. In a press release, Assam Rifles stated that the objective was to skill youth to get employment. It said demonstration of rainwater harvesting was displayed to villagers to educate technique of collection and storage of rainwater into nature reserve or tanks. Kidima Village celebrates 31st Kidima Catholic Juniors Association Day on Sunday. The theme was Sun are indeed a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. From Sam Chapter 127 verse 3 with Reverend Father Sibi John, parish priest as main celebrant at the church premises. While delivering his speech, Father Sibi said children are the backbone and future of the society while urged the children to know, to love and with God and be blessed. The activities report of KCYA was conducted by Viso Konu Flora while competitions like Group Him and Solo were highlights of the celebration. Furthermore, the Franciscan Sister of St. Mary's of the Angels, parents and well-wishers also took part in the joyful sacred feast day. The Supreme Court will begin physically hearing some cases from September 1st and has issued a fresh standard operating procedure that would have to be followed besides strict observance of COVID-appropriate norms. The Apex Court will employ a hybrid model of hearing cases physically from Tuesday to Thursday. The top court has been hearing cases through video conferencing since the coronavirus pandemic hit the country in March last year. The several bars, association and lawyers have been pleading with the court for resumption of physical hearing. The SOP has been issued on the direction of Chief Justice N.V. Ramana, who took note of the recommendation of the Judges' Committee. Reverend Father Richard Fernandez, parish priest of St. Francis de Sales, celebrated the Silver Jubilee of his priestly coordination during Sunday morning Mass at the church in the state capital Kohima on Sunday. While delivering a sermon during the Eucharist as the main celebrant, Fernandez cited examples of Jesus Christ and reminded the believers not to give actions on evil things. Fernandez said, we must overcome evil things and do good deeds to others. Furthermore, Fernandez, who has also been serving at SFS as Paris priest since 2017, said, our faith becomes strong when good thoughts prevail. Therefore, be conscious of the evil things within us. Bringing to you the updates of the latest Tokyo Paralympics, shooter Avin Avani Lekhara scripted history today as she became the first woman, Indian woman to win a gold medal at the Paralympics. Firing her way to the top of the podium in R2, Round 2 Women's 10-meter air rifle standing SF. H1 event, the 19-year-old finished with a world record equaling total of 249.6, which is also a new Paralympic record. Discus thrower Yogesh Kathunia clinched a silver medal in the men's F56 event. The 24-year-old BCom graduate from New Delhi's Kirorimal College sent the disc to a best distance of 44.38 meter in his sixth and last attempt to clinch the silver. Two-time goal-winning javelin throw veteran Devendra Jharia, Tejaria clinched a stupendous third Paralympic medal. Winning a silver medal, Sundar Singh Gujar also chipped in with a bronze, finishing behind Tejaria in the men's javelin throw F46 final. Vinod Kumar also secured a bronze in the men's discus throw final.
Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavya on Sunday rolled out the first commercial batch of Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine manufactured at a facility in Gujarat's Ankleshwar, paving the way to augment the supply of the indigenously developed vaccine against COVID-19. According to the center's recent statement in Parliament, the production of Covaxin is projected to increase from the current 25 million doses per month to at least 58 million doses around the last quarter of the year. The Chiron Bearing Vaccines plant, a wholly owned part biotech at Ankleshwar, has a production capacity of at least 10 million doses per month and its doses will be out from, for use from the next month onwards. According to Bharat Biotech, each bio batch of Covaxin undergoes around 200 quality control tests before being submitted to the Central Drugs Laboratory for final testing. An internal confidential report of the Central Bureau of Investigation recommending a closure of the inquiry against former Maharashtra Minister Anil Deshmukh has been leaked in a huge embarrassment for the central agency. The agency has registered an FIA despite the recommendation of the investigating officer to close the case. The report, which has been shared with media leaders of opposition and parties and to judges of the Supreme Court, shows that the investigation officer had said no cognizable offence has been committed by Anil Deshmukh. Anil Deshmukh is accused of corruption by former Mumbai Chief Police Chief Parambir Singh. His resignation came hours after the Bombay High Court ordered a preliminary CBI investigation into the allegations of Mr. Singh on the issue which started with the discovery of a car full of explosives near industrialist Mukesh Ambani's home in Mumbai in February. President Joe Biden and First Lady Biden arrived at Board Air Force One at Andrews Air Force Base for a trip to Drover Air Force Base to attend the dignified transfer of the fallen troops on Sunday. According to report, 13 U.S. troops killed in the suicide attack near Kabul airport as the remains of their beloved ones returned to U.S. soil from Afghanistan. WHII at Dover Air Force base of military ritual of receiving the remains of those killed in foreign combat. Biden's stream most recent predecessors as presidents all attended dignified transfers for the troops killed in the nearly 20 years Afghanistan war. It will be Biden's first time attending the ritual as president, but he has been there before. India reports 42,513 fresh COVID-19 cases with 380 deaths in the last 24 hours. India's recovery rate now stands at 97.51, a total of 34,763 patients recovered in the last 24 hours, which brings the total recoveries to 3 crore 19 lakh 23,405 across the country in the last 24 hours with 3,76,324 active cases. Meanwhile, Nagaland records a total of 29,920 COVID cases with 614 deaths. Indian para-athlete Vinod Kumar's bronze medal win has garnered controversy as his medal win is on hold following a protest over his disability classification. According to reports, it was not clear on what grounds the classification has been challenged. Furthermore, results of the events are currently under review due to classification observation in competition. Reportedly, the victory ceremony has been postponed to the evening session of 30th August. India's chief D. Mission Gurshana Singh said that Vinod's medal now stands. That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates.